I don't know if you're anything like us, but when we travel, we have to follow a budget. Nobody's given us free rooms for $1,000 a night to come stay at their resorts. Right, but there are times that we want a little more luxury, maybe room service or sitting around in our robes, like if it's our anniversary or a honeymoon or something like that. Yeah, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to get the best of both value and luxury by taking you to Belize's newest premier luxury resort. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so for this trip, we traded the Jeep in for a more uh, austere and rugged overlanding view. resort in San Pedro, Belize. This is actually um, one of Marriott's newest autograph collection resorts here. And it's been an amazing stay so far, wouldn't you say, Jenny? Yes. So check-in went really good, I thought. I mean, literally top-notch service. They they grab your bags, they hold your hand, they tell you like everything that's going on, step-by-step -step process. Um, really thorough, you know, explaining the hours on everything, how to know where everything is, how to, um, you know, figure out if you don't know what, what something is, they have QR codes you can scan to get the information. I mean, it was real, real thorough. I felt like top-notch service.
guess we're up at the rooftop bar uh, and pool for kind of like sunset happy hour type of thing. Really nice, cool atmosphere up here. They have an amazing Asian flair. Just everything is, you know, got uh, sushi rolls. You've got all sorts of just um, Asian, you know, flair type of drinks and stuff like that. Just a really awesome, cool atmosphere and a great place to watch the sunset. You know, I think when we first got here, we were thinking maybe this was too like fancy, <laughs> upscale, too luxurious for it. Like we're the Beverly Hillbillies that <laughs> snuck in. But one of the things you and I were saying today is just the staff here mm -hmm. has really made this stay amazing. Like it, mm -hmm. it I mean, it is upscale. It right, is a luxury. But they make you feel welcome and they're so personable oh. and warm and welcoming. So it balances it out for me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that, that like warm, friendly Belize culture, um, just makes you feel like you're at home, really. Right. The coffee I'm bringing right now is everything is fresh, fresh grind, everything is, uh, everything is fresh what we make right here at the Lions today, sir. So I'm gonna be brewing your coffee right now, double out espresso. And you will see the CO2 that comes out from the coffee bean right now. It's, it's, it's really good, aromatic, and tastes really well. Arabica means high altitude, so it's really good coffee. So. And that's just been amazing. I mean, the whole staff here, we want to say thank you to the staff um, and, and everything. And then the restaurants here and the food. Oh my gosh, yes, it's has amazing. It's been so amazing. So we actually got lucky when we were first checking in, we were actually, as we were riding up on the elevator, we got to meet the head chef from Germany. Uh, from Germany. Yeah. And so um, he was telling us just all the different types of things they're trying to do here with the resort, um, different types of flares. So let's see, you have yeah. the main restaurant, I would say is the Sea Salt Restaurant. Um, which is in the the you know the main um, resort area, or main uh, hotel area, and that we had last night is what we had lobster there, mm -hmm. um, made two different ways, and they were both amazing. And you could tell the chef he comes out to your table and he's really passionate about what he does, and he's really really an amazing cook. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had food like that. And we were saying even just like the way just the Caesar salads and the mm -hmm. homemade dressings and. Um, um, just the way, I mean, there's attention to detail in everything they do with the food. And then on the flip side of that, you go up and they have actually a rooftop bar and a rooftop pool. And that has more, everything from the food to the drinks has more of like an Asian flair to mm -hmm. it. And so I think we got a sushi roll yesterday that was out of this world. It was beautiful um, and delicious. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, sometimes the food is so beautiful, you don't even want to yeah. eat it. <laughs> um, but the sushi was great and then all the cocktails we got too mm -hmm. also had this kind of Asian flair to them which was really um, unique really nice. and special yeah it was fun yeah it's great mm -hmm. and then some of the other options too you have the um, the, the patio um, bar or the patio dining area outside of the sea salt restaurant next to the pool is always lively always yeah. you know there's always going to be some people having a good time and and you'll see that I think the way the hotel is set up is everything is kind of congregated around the main pool area and mm -hmm. also the ocean and the water activities mm -hmm. um, and things like that. So you, the, the pool is kind of the congregating area for everybody. Um, but then there's also little places too if you want to go off and kind of find that little quiet spot of your own, you have that as well. Because it's right on the beach and this is beautiful. So from our room, we're on the fourth floor. You can look down and you can see the beautiful pools, all the different pools. And then behind that, you can see the ocean front and the white sands and the blue water. And it's just gorgeous. Yeah. And then if you're looking for activities too, um, they have a number of different activities here. They have a, a, an on-site spa. So if you want to go get your spa treatment on, they have a 24-7 fitness center, which I'll be honest, we skipped a day. <laughs> just, just one day. Just one day. So, but, but we've been- uh, And we ate a lot of calories too, so. Yeah, so we'll be making up for that. For so we didn't try the fitness center out, but it looked really great. 
Yeah. Um, and then they also have a full service dive shop here. So if you want to do, you know, you want to go out and do some diving or some snorkeling or whatever, they have everything here that you can go out and do that. Plus the concierge service here offers, um, if you want to book any like day trips or excursions, you can do all that right here through the hotel, um, which is a really nice option for that. Nice. Some of the other options they have too, like Jenny was saying, down on the beach area here, they have kind of this whole separate area next to the dive shop called the deck. And yeah. um, that has kind of a whole different atmosphere to itself. Mm -hmm. A little bit more laid back, a little bit more casual, a little bit quieter. Mm -hmm. um, but it has its own unique er uh, characteristics a as lot well. Of fun. Yeah, there's the chessboard, the giant chessboard. You can play that game or cornhole or there's some other games as well. And we saw a whole playground for kids too. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things. And then the other option too is the Aaliyah here is not just a hotel but they also have residences. So if you're one of those people that you come down here and you love this, um, and I'll be honest, we, we've thought about this as well. Um, they also have residences and condos um, and you know two, three bedroom villas, things like that, that you can purchase starting at about 200,000 US dollars. And then when you become an owner, you also get access to all of the amenities of the hotel as well. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. And like Jenny said, we saw a playground for the kids or grandkids. And then um, the, the actual area where the owners live, actually they have their own pool area. Um, and some of their own amenities as well, which is really nice. Um, also top-notch security all around. Um, they have security on the entire compound um, coming in and out. And then you can also get taxis, you can get shuttles, you can uh, even take the water taxi over to the mainland if you wanna do that. So just so many options here in, in this amazing resort. The resort has only been open for about seven months right now. Um, and so there's some real amazing deals to be had. Um, we were actually sitting, we shouldn't say this out loud, but we had dinner last night. We were sitting next to the owners and heard them talking just about- Just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, talking about occupancies and things like that. Um, but the word is getting out and now this place is getting really booked out. I think they said for Christmas and New Year's, they're completely booked. Um, but if you are looking, like we said, if you're looking for that, you know, luxury experience where you really want to get pampered or, or you just want, you know, a weekend away with the girls or the guys, or maybe it's a honeymoon or a wedding or something like that. Mm -hmm. We would highly recommend this because mm -hmm. it is, I mean, it's top notch, mm -hmm. um, you know, over the top luxury is what yeah. you get here. And the other thing, like, because it's a Marriott um, autograph collection, you get you can you can stay on Marriott points. You can get Marriott points while you're here, and then you also get benefits from uh, Marriott based on a tier. You know, if you're a gold or a platinum or a titanium or an ambassador level, um, you'll have different levels and different um, you know extras that you get when you do stay here.